Hello gentle viewers, this is Ev Guardian, welcoming you to a new let's look about one of my new favorite games, Fights in Tight Spaces. Fights in Tight Spaces is a turn-based deck builder that, simula that simulates basically kung fu style fights. Um, and a series of, of missions where you try to defeat certain people and going through here. Um, I want to talk a little bit about a feature I found in Steam, because that's what brought me to this. I buy a lot of computer games, um, especially through Humble Bundles. And the other day I was like, I want to play a deck builder, because I learned that Slay the Spire, which is one of my favorite games of all time, um, my board game copy of it is, is shipping, and I'll be getting it soon. I might even have it with the time to watch this video. Um, and I was like, I want to play a deck builder, but I don't want to play the Slay the Spire again. Um, for exactly that reason. As also the other games I knew that I had that I had to like across the obelisk and monster train. And I was like, does Steam let me sort by game tags? And it does. And so I looked at deck builders and I was like, this game sounds awesome, let's do it. So I'm going to do a quick run through of this video and as a proper let's look, I'll give my thoughts at the end. And you can make your decision if you want to support the game by now. Um, I don't have the DLC yet. I'm trying to condition myself not to pay for DLC because I have a habit of buying DLC up front and then not liking the game. I will probably get the DLC sooner rather than later. It's that good a game. Um, I can't remember if I'm death spiraling in this one. I don't think I am. Let's load it up. Okay. So the basic premise of the game is that you're a secret agent. And you're going through a certain gang or faction in order to defeat them and, and do whatever you're trying to do. I'll be honest with you. There's not much story in this game. There's a little bit. A little bit. But it generally is not that much story in the game. But on the left hand side, you see the agent. You see... Um, my health. If you run out of health, your run is over. Well, sort of. Amount of money I have on hand, my max combo meter, and my momentum, which is how many cards I can play on a turn, more or less. Although a lot of cards are zero cost. Um, if we scroll to here, we go. This is our next fight. Um, we're gonna be fighting four targets, and we can potentially get money and a new card. Let's talk about the cards before we actually start the game. So every card has, on the top right-hand corner, a momentum number. <clears throat> Your normal momentum is three. Um, the only time many cards you can play a turn is how much momentum you have. Um, you'll notice we have zeros, we have ones. I know I've got a couple of twos in here. Uh, these are combos. I'll talk about that in a second. Yeah, there's a two right there, the double jump kick. Um... Cards have other icons help you realize what the card actually does. So, for example, this double arrow means it's a counter. Um, that's the kind of deck I'm playing with. I'm playing a counter-based deck. Um, so this says I get 15 block, I convert 15 damage, and I do 14 damage to the attacker. It isn't printed on the card, but it's down there at the very bottom. Uh, if a card is a move, you see a little dude running, like Dash, for example, which I drew up in two tiles. Every card has a text description to it in case you forget what the icons mean, which I do constantly. But it is a thing that you can do. Oh, this is the amount of damage it does. So quick strike, very straightforward. One momentum, must be adjacent, and 10 damage. Quick kicks add pushing. If you're a fan of Into the Breach, um, you might be familiar with the whole idea of pushing people off the board. That's one of the things you can do in this game. Which is really cool when you get on like a, a boss or a really tough fight. Um, that fucking drunken master. If we get to him, I'll talk more about him, but he drives me nuts. I hate that guy. Um, what else? The curly arrow means you turn your opponent to face you. This is so important. Because facing determines who can attack you and who can't. Um, so if you're gonna head smash somebody, you wanna give that some thought. You also see a number in yellow there. That is the combo meter. During, an, uh, during a turn, actually it's throughout the course of a fight, Every time you use an attack card, it goes up by one. If you use a non-attack that isn't 
Uh, if you use like a defense card or anything that isn't a move, it stays the same. A move drops at one. Um, this allows you to play certain powerful cards for free, like Palm Strike, as long as you have at least three combo. This doesn't spend your combo, but Head Smash does. You can do it with a big yellow axe. Cards can be upgraded, and uh, yeah. I don't like a jumping ground punch. I might get rid of the card if we can. Um, I'll explain why in a little bit. Uh, but I kind of just want to play the game now. So, yeah. I'm not very far into this run. Um, I think I've had like three or four runs. I've never finished the game. I've definitely finished boss fights, but I haven't gotten to the end here. Oh, this is the ninja one. You might actually need to see the fucking drunken master. I hate this guy. So you click on the room. All the art is very stylized. Um, it reminds me a little bit of Super Hot in terms of the art style. Oh, speak of the fuckhead, there he appears. I hate this guy so much. Um, yeah, so you guaranteed dodge an attack, which is really frustrating. And, even worse, um, he gets his ability, just gives him some kind of special thing. It's the fucking worst. I need to get away from this shithead. But only after I have dealt with this armored ninja. Okay. So, oh, I need to turn. Let's see. Okay. So the symbols above the characters' heads tell you, do they have a valid attack target? Yes. How much damage you do in a hit? 14. And how much life they have? 30. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to begin... Do you attack three tiles away? You attack two tiles away. So I can't get you to attack your friend there. That's annoying. Oh well. Um, I'm going to begin by throat punching. We're going to throat punch this ninja here. And now he's out for now. He's not dead or anything. I can't use a jumping ground punch. Annoyingly. Um. He does 30 damage. I don't want to be anywhere near him when that goes off. I can dodge one attack with this move. Instead, oh no, because you push. Yeah, it just likes to get out of the way. Now, he would normally follow me, but because he is stunned, he can't move. And so, there we go. That's the turn. Uh, very straightforward. Every enemy has slightly different moves, so you have to plan that throughout your turn. We have a bonus agenda. If we can beat all four of the all all four of these shitheads in six turns, we get uh we get some money. All right. Can I kill you? I almost certainly cannot. Now the problem is I would normally use slip to get around him because slip lets you go to the other side. However, he's gonna follow me. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put up a counter. I'm gonna slip to go backwards. He will follow, which is fine. Because now I have my counter set up, which means I should be able to do a little bit of damage to him. But now we're gonna redraw. I still have one momentum left. I didn't mention that, by the way. There's a momentum right there. This is damage bonus. Uh, certain things give you a damage bonus. I think I have a, a technique. Yeah, right there. I was a plus two of my attacks. I'm going to play redraw. Um, I want a better card with my last action here. Maybe something that has direct damage. A stun dart would have been amazing last turn. But as it is, I should be able to kill this guy this turn. Quick strike. And then my counter will kill him. No, won't have one HP left. Damn it. Claim. Oh, his buddy did it for me. There you go. Good positioning. The enemies can deal with your shit for you, which is very exciting. Okay. We're going to do a rising knee strike. No, we're not. Mmm. That doesn't push him. That makes me follow him. That's not what I want at all. Here's when we slip. Now he can't attack me because I'm not in front of him. I just have to make sure not to use anything. Um, I'm just going to use a long counter. There you go. So 
So he attacks me. Oh, and he dodges because of his stupid tonfas. Oh my god. Um. So this is a dodge two attacks. Um, that's not terrible. Let me play the free card first. I'm gonna do double jump, jump kick. Uh, down to 10 HP, and now I can finish him off with a palm strike. I love it. Dead. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and play Fancy Footwork and discard Jumping Ground Punch, because this still carries over to the next turn. Oh, is that literally this turn? Then playing the card was a waste. Oh, well, it's not like it goes away or anything. Alright. We need to get to the side of Tonfa Jones here if we're actually going to hurt him. Um, I've only got one push. That's annoying. Flash kick do. Oh, I move away from him. I cannot be countered. That's pretty decent, actually. That combines attacking and movement. Oh, his fucking dodge ability. Mm, I hate this guy. Yeah, that... I'm gonna use rollback, because I forgot that he can dodge shit. This just cannot be countered. I wonder... I'll just slip past him. And now I can flash kick this jerk. And... I cannot shove him and a use a blizzard. I can't head smash, by the way, because it's not close on something to smash his head into, so... I don't think we're getting the bonus this time. We might, but... Fuckhead McGee there is going to be a pain in the ass to fight. And I definitely need to get around him. Um, I'm going to do a Rising Knee Strike. And then... <clears throat> yeah. That's fine. Okay, so the important thing to remember here is he dodges the first attack. I'm gonna use Snap Strike. Now he dodges that, but now I can throw him and do some damage that way. Now this time would be really nice to have that ground punch, but I don't. So we're not going to get the special objective, unfortunately, but I haven't taken any damage yet, which is almost as good. Of course, it takes the one the fucking heal, so god damn this guy. Um, I'm going to use Reflex Strike. So we're going to do Quick Strike, Palm Strike, Throw. Quick Strike. Palm strike. And throw. He's. I sh could be able to kill him in the next turn or two. Um. Thank goodness he can be thrown. The thing is, he does five attacks. That's the problem. So, I need to neutralize him somehow. I'm gonna try to throw him. Oh, he can't dodge being thrown. Well, shit. I wish I had known that. Oh, well. Twenty-four is not enough to block all of his damage. I'm just going to avoid him. I don't want to get hit. I know he can heal, but it's not worth it to me. 
Do it heals 10 points. That's not the worst thing ever. Um, we're gonna use Snap Strike. Just increasing my attack power and then we quick kick. And now you can't hurt me. And that's what this game is. It's about managing your opponent's responses and using it against them. Uh, please don't heal again, fuckhead. Give yourself block, I don't care. Oh, he gave himself more damage. As long as I can kill you, that doesn't matter. Oh, that is such a cool looking move. Let's do it. Oh, I can't do it. Oh, no. That's fine. <clears throat> I'm going to use a rising knee, and we're going to kill him with a palm strike. Why can't I use rising knee? Oh, wait, what? Why can't I use rising knee? The only, the only rule is that there can't be somebody behind it. Um, I can't use that. Why can I not use Rising Knee? There's nothing behind him. This is a legal move. I'm confused, game. Yeah, it's not doing anything. So I think it's because he can dodge. Let's do a stagger. Now can I do the rise unique? There we go. Got him. We get a new upgraded card, which I could skip if I want to. Just kinetic move do. That's too expensive to be a good card, in my opinion. A nice Front kick, which adds more range, is the best of these three. Kinetic move is too expensive. Um, it's nice to have a four damage modifier, but we only have three momentum a turn. I don't see wasting two of it on movement. Uh, so we're gonna pick up front kick. Now you get a choice. So you know these are tougher opponents. This is tougher once there's more of them. I can get health from this. How do I know that? Because there's a mention to protect the ambassador. Which means as long as he doesn't die, I'll get health at the end of the fight. And that'll keep us going. Let's go for this one. Okay. This is the shithead that moves around, I think. Oh no, he doesn't move. Oh, you both counter. Alright. Um, how do we do this? A quick kick pushes someone, which means he shouldn't be able to counter because I'm not in his range anymore. Um, I desperately need to st I desperately need to protect this ambassador here, so I'm gonna use even though I don't want to, I'm gonna use my stun dart on this guy. Well I'm not far enough away from him. I guess I'm stun darting this guy then. Oh yes, fucking block. I forgot about that. Yeah, you're going to do 12 damage, which I can counter, but you I cannot counter. Yeah, we're going to have to eat it. Um, I got to roll back. I've got to be able to get away from them. You don't mean selling this shithead out. Guess I'm going to do a quick kick. Yeah, and then I dash and I counter. Because your blade doesn't push. You're still going to get hit, but I can't do anything about that right now. Yes, I can. I can stun dart him. 
There we go. And then this guy's going to be able to hit me. So he attacks three tiles for 12 damage each, but my counter is 15. So he will take a nice elbow, and he's significantly more less dangerous now. Okay. I think we slip. By the way, notice he is not going to attack this guy because he's not a valid target. I'd have to manipulate the battlefield if, if I wanted to make that happen. Um, I think slipping, because I can't do any damage this turn. Let me use dodge and then slip. And then we'll use redraw to get an attack I can actually fucking use. Push and reflex strike. I'm not going to push him because that'll hurt this jerk, but I can at least do this. And I dodge so I don't take any counter. I didn't actually plan that part, I forgot, but I'll take it either way. How many of these assholes are there? There's five, so there's still one more that hasn't showed up yet. Um... A double jump kick would take his block, and his block actually makes his damage more powerful. His block actually makes him more dangerous. Let me think about how I want to do this. Then I got I could just slip, front kick him into him, which would kill him. He can take a little bit of damage without dying. And that's more important. More important is that I don't get hurt. So I'm going to front kick you. Oh no, if I front kick you, I can't. Ah, it still kills him. It's still worth it. There we go. Um, oh, I could stagger him now. And then quick block. Yes. Oh, I don't actually move into his range. Perfect. Haha! -ha, I planned it! He's gonna attack him now, because he now thinks he has a valid target. Because he doesn't forget about targets. That's it. Break down his block. Eh, you'll find. Okay, this is a problem. I have dash. We're about to make it not a problem. We're gonna do a Big ol' rising knee strike. He's out. Now the other problem is that this guy's still there. He's gonna die. <sighs> okay. I need to get him out of the way. I don't think I can though, is the problem. I think he's dead no matter what, so the question is, yeah, he's dead. I can't save him, because I can't get to this shithead. That's unfortunate, but he'll be missed. I can't remember if you snap strike the ambassador, whether he takes damage. Let's find out. Because I think it just... Oh, he dodges if you do that. Well, he's dead. Sorry, Ambassador. We tried. I mean, you went side and tried very hard, which is fair, but... Alright. Um... I'm gonna jump kick this fucker. I am going to palm strike him, and then I'm going to throw him. Again, there's nothing but empty space around him, so I can't head smash him. But I can throw him. I'm going to slip behind this guy. Oh, you're standing on top of a tile, when they jump back up, it will kill you. So that is an important thing to remember. Uh, 
All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna begin with a quick strike. I need to start wearing this guy down so he's less dangerous. And then we're gonna do a flash kick. That looks really cool, I like that. And then we're gonna end the turn. Oh, he's got a, oh my God. I could have not taken that damage. I feel so fucking stupid now. I forgot he has a range of two, which means he could still hurt me. And he just regained all his blocks, so yikes. One, two, three. If I move, these guys will attack each other. And then on my turn. Oh, really? Oh, they have. I thought they have three movement. I thought they had. I thought they had three. I'm fucking up. But I can finally head smash somebody. There we go. He's still not dead. I guess he's not. I'll do a quick strike. And we're gonna do a long counter. Um, this will kill him. Nope. Because he gets to push too. Oh well. A jump kick will kill him. So let's get after it. And then that's that. Alright, we're going to move up. I'm going to use some fancy footwork so I can't get hurt. And we're going to discard... Stagger, because I'm not going to be able to get Stagger anyway. So now if I get a push, I can kill him next turn. And one hit. Bye bye, fucker. I kicked him off the map. Does not unnecessary damage. That wasn't great. And I didn't heal because I didn't protect the ambassador. It's probably fine. What is punch kick? I get three attacks for two. That's not terrible. Mm. I mean, quick block is never a bad thing to have. But I, I kind of like this more aggressive attack. I need to I need to go to a gym so I can get rid of a card. I need to get rid of that one of those stupid ground punch cards because they just clog up my hand and I can't use them. This is a map I haven't had before. Oh, lots of pushing opportunities. Interesting. Okay. Are you the one of them that moves? Yeah, you move whenever I move. I don't think you can block a push. See ya. That was easy. Um, I'm gonna do a flash kick. I wonder if I can use a rising knee strike like this. I can. Sick. I like this map. I've never had this map before. It's really cool because there's always just insta kill people. Oh, it's a lieutenant. I don't have any push this turn. Alright, let's use fancy footwork. I'm gonna discard combo counter. Um. You do more damage, but I can still move anyway. Yeah, it just makes sense to do as much damage as I can. And then just move away. Oh, I have to move. Yeah, or I will get hit. Slip. Oh shit, you turn. Yeah, let's not do that. 
Oh, so I get to dodge first attack. As long as I take, as long as I immobilize this shithead, I'm okay. Discard combo counter. Throw a punch. Head smash. And now, he can't attack me because he's stunned. He can attack me, but he'll miss because of my dodge. Haha, uh -huh, fucker. Um... What do we do here? Um, long counter is nice. Yeah, so I'll still be able to... I should be able to hurt, hurt him, so I'm gonna throw this jerk. And then I'm gonna long counter. But I might as well, I might as well use power sync too. Long counter. And enter. That's why I like long counter. Is one of you shouldn't adding block to everybody? Oh, I am bad. Do you have push? You do not have push, but you're also super dangerous. Okay. Because what slip is for? Oh, I can only go this way. Wait, what? I thought slip... Oh, slip lets you go adjacent, which I cannot legally do because I'm penned in. Um, all these cards suck. I know I can dodge, so I will go ahead and dodge. That at least takes care of one of these attacks. Let's redraw. Yeah, let's redraw. Uh, these are not much better. Uh, we're in trouble. I might be dead? But I also might as well take advantage to reduce his block. And then counter. I'm not gonna be dead, but it is gonna hurt. Oh, the counter killed him. That's not bad. I got to counter both of them, so that wasn't terrible. That could have been a lot worse than it was. Um... Punch Kick takes this shithead out. But you can attack. damage I can shake easier than 41 damage. Yeah. I'll still take 6 damage, but you know what 6 damage isn't? It's not 41, which would kill me in one hit. You gotta manage your risk. You get to dodge? No. You're just... Tricky. See ya. Um. And then I'm going to reflex strike you. Cause you become a lot less dangerous um, if I can keep pummeling you. There we go. He has 25, I have 16 health, he has 25 health. Um, can you counter me? No. Okay. So I'm gonna palm strike you. I'm gonna quick kick you. And 
And that works. Because you only have a one attack tile. Alright. There's something we could potentially fix. Deal with. I cannot flash kick you. That's not a legal move for me. Oh, but I can rise and get strike you, which takes you out. I got the bonus, uh, which is not terrible. What is false surrender? That's not terrible. I really like the wall jump punch. It's really powerful, but it's so situational. It's a free card, and I basically get to keep any momentum in case... Yeah, this is a good card. I'm going to take it. Jim, we're moving a card from the deck. We're going to move the, this jumping ground punch. Can you upgrade anything for just 40? What does Quick Strike do? It just does more damage. That's worth it, but better block is even better. Because then I can spend fewer cards to get prevent any damage. There we go. Done. Yep, understood. Now, this is the boss. I've never beaten this boss before. Um, and I don't like my chances because my health is so low, but we'll have to see. I have more options to avoid harm now, thanks to all the dodges I've required in my different counters and so forth. Now, I could try to throw him off the edge. That's probably my best way of dealing with him. Okay, no matter how hard you hit, I can dodge you. We're going to try a fairly uninteresting but still useful maneuver here. There we go. Uh, he's going to hit me, I'm going to hit him back. And that's how it's going to work for this particular turn. Well, why, didn't I, why couldn't I counter him? What just happened there? Uh, well, you can get fucked, nerd. There we go. Oh, and it still hurts me, because every time he gets hit, his stupid armor... Oh my god, he's the worst. I hate this guy. I do have one block. I can do 15 damage. Uh, the thing is, I don't want to slip past him, but that may be what I have to do. Just, yeah, I'd have to do this. There you go. Yeah, this is all about me trying to set up for something really good later on. Um, Now I get shoved. Oh my gosh, it should work. <laughs> oh, that was gorgeous. Oh my gosh, that was hard. Oh, that was amazing. I mean, I've already got a really good block system, so getting even more block is really good. Oh my gosh. How are the ninjas? Numerous and pointy. Occupational hazard, I'm afraid. So who's next? Uh, I guess I completely. 
I completely the outfit a modern spin of classic mafia structure. Now it's the most organized crime around the Mediterranean. This up with some immaculately polished toes, understood. But that, my friends, is gonna end this video. If you want to see more, please let me know in the comments. Um I like this game so much. Um there's something just so elegant about a simple deck builder with really cool animations that really makes you think. Now, to be clear, I'm playing on the Classic Plus difficulty, which means you get rollbacks and you can restart a mission if you fail. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of game in here. Um, there's a lot of game in here. There's crafting your deck the way you want it. Uh, there's Endless Mode. Um, let me really quickly go to the menu to show you the other options you have available to you here. There's the daily play, which sets up a specific like ladder for you to compete in. There's the DLC, which includes gun mechanics, which I'm pretty excited about. And um, there's sort of difficulty levels. It's such a good game. Um, they're also coming out with a sequel called Knights in Tight Spaces that I'm really looking forward to. I really think that's going to be a cool game, but I love deck builders. I love the theme. Uh, there are two characters, in quotes. There's one that's supposed to be female, I think. Uh, the one that I'm playing, because they have blonde hair and high heel shoes. And then there's the guy you can see up there in the top. It's your other character. I think the DLC adds another character you can play. The character literally doesn't matter. Um, yeah, I'm super jazzed about this game. And it's one of my favorite games that I've discovered this year so far, so... If you want to check it out, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, fights and tight spaces. Thank you so much for watching. Your review ships always appreciated. Um, please remember to like and subscribe. Comment down below if you want to see more of the game. Or if you have any questions about how the game works. Um, and, uh, yeah. Enjoy additional OTP on Friday. Until next time, this has been Guardian. Thank you for watching. And I bid you.